Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. So don't even try to sue me, you salad bowl. Hi, so before this video starts, I'd like to mention some things. First of all, I got a mic for this and I swear I thought I could move on from my days of toaster sound quality but unfortunately, I didn't notice that my laptop was overheating and the fan inside was making a really loud static noise. I didn't notice that until halfway into the video so that's gonna be in the background for a bit. Second of all, I am incredibly awkward and I'm sorry if you can't understand me well since I'm still not very used to speaking in English and especially speaking into a camera. Third of all, this was recorded using a very sad phone with the camera quality of a fossil. I can literally count the pixels and I'm also very sorry for that. <laughs> Lastly, my parents are outside my door watching TV when I was recording this and I cringe very hard whenever I think they can hear me, so my voice is very soft and whispery at some points. Anyways, this is technically my first ever proper, if you can call it that, YouTube video and I worked hard to make it less awkward and pathetic than it really is, so I hope you guys enjoy! I should probably dry my hair first. Okay. This is fine. Okay. Hello everybody. Today I'd like to provide some insightful commentary on a video that I was made aware of a few days ago. So a few days ago, I was just minding my own business, scrolling through Instagram, reading comments, and I got a very interesting notification. So for some context, I made a series where I drew social media apps as girls and gave them personality traits based on, you know, the app itself, based on the users who use the app. Someone commented on one of the posts to let me know that a channel called Real Life Talk stole my design for their video. They didn't just steal it, by the way, they, they traced it. They just saw her design, took a screenshot, and traced it extremely badly. I feel like I have to emphasize how bad it is. So once I got that, of course, I looked it up because I was curious to see what they did with my child. And when I saw the thumbnail, I was thinking, oh, it's... It's not that bad. I mean, the girl in the thumbnail is brunette. My girl is brunette. Haha, <laughs> joke. And then I clicked in. Hey guys. I don't know what you're. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> when I tell you, I screamed. I verbally screamed out loud. I was actually shaken. <laughs> I went through the five stages of grief within 30 seconds when I saw that. It's just... It's just so painful. <laughs> Look at how they massacred my girl. This is definitely Trace, by the way. Um, the hair and everything just lines up. Plus, I went on Procreate and... I dropped the colors. They were the same. Most of it anyways, because for the others, it was an ombre, so they just chose a random color. To be honest, and this is a message to all the future assholes out there who trace art and post it without permission. I'm calling you out right now. Uh, trace it decently. You, you just have to trace it. It's not that bad. Some people try to change some colors around, change the line up a tiny bit, just so they can, I don't know, get away with it more. But the thing is, we know. We know you traced it. It's really obvious, so making it worse is just making it more offensive. So yeah, if you're gonna trace art, just do, do it well, man. I'm more insulted by the fact that they made her so ugly than I am that they traced my art in the first place. English, I can speak it. It looks like it was traced in the dark by an infant. Anyways, I just really wanted to watch the videos with- the videos? The videos. Plural. <laughs> I just really wanted to watch the video with you guys. So. Strap in. Hey guys, my name is Mary. I'm 28 and what I'm about to tell you will sound weird AF, but I promise you it's 100% real. You heard it here fellas, it's 100% real. So I'm gonna be very nitpicky because I am mildly annoyed. First of all, why is her forehead built like that? Her hairline said ba 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 ba. Second of all, what is that? Why? 
you couldn't be bothered to trace the tie, so you gave her a boob slit. I can't stop looking at this. Her titty is literally giving up on life. Third of all, her neck sit. Anyways, the video starts and she talks about Miss Corona coming and just absolutely going ham on the human race. It's basically about how she reacted when she heard the news, like literally right when the news broke. I tried to take it easy at first. I didn't want to get too paranoid about it, just mildly paranoid. The virus got to her suspenders. By this point, you should probably know that I'm what you may call a hypochondriac. I'll explain it in case somebody doesn't know what that means. A hypochondriac is somebody who's kind of afraid of all kinds of diseases and always thinks they're going to get sick. So, basically, everyone right now except for internet influencers who are apparently still partying when people are dying every day. Calm down. Anyways, basically, January 21st rolls around. Anyway, January 21st rolls around and Mary flips out. She buys a month's worth of food and a ton of masks immediately. She also makes note that she never felt safe with a mask on because like what if the wind blew when the virus entered her face. So what does Mary do? She calls up her engineering friend and asks him to make her a mask that she would never have to remove. I needed something that was going to cover me completely. I have a friend who's an engineer, and I asked if he could make a mask that I would never have to take off. Thank you for talking. That does not distract me at all. I'd also just like to note that her friend looks like a version of Jimmy Neutron's dad, so I don't know what that's about. Also keep in mind, and she says this in the video, this is in January 21st. This is when the first case was literally just reported, and her boss somehow allowed her to just stay at home and do all her work there. She said he almost fired her and like, but he didn't in the end. Guessing her boss is Mark Zuckerberg. But anyways, homegirl was a step ahead of everyone else, cause after that, everyone also had to work at home obviously. So after a week, she called her friend for the mask and he told her to come over and get it. And then Mary proceeds to put on not one, not two, but three masks over her face. It's not even a three layer mask, it's three masks. Three identical masks over her face. Masks, ks, 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 ks. I can't speak. So I put on three different masks to cover my whole face and I went over to his house. Everybody on the subway looked at me like I was a freak. Well... I hate to break it to you, um, Walmart Facebook, but you, you kind of are. I mean, I don't mean any disrespect, but when you go off the house wearing three identical masks over each other, uh, somehow not suffocating to death, to pick up a mask that you never have to remove from your face, I, I, I don't think that's a very normal thing to do. And that being said, I was probably not the weirdest thing you're going to find in a New York subway. I mean, there's all sorts of freaks there. Uh, oh, okay. Why did that sound so sultry? There's all sorts of freaks here. <laughs> mm, New York City, baby. I got to his house and I asked him if he could throw me the mask from the window. I really hated the idea of being close to anybody. After all, that's probably why I'm single. Oh, relatable content. Also, I really like that her friend is emulating her hairline with his arms. It's just a whole McDonald's happy meal over here. So her friend proceeded to chuck his creation, the creation he took a week to make, out of his window on the set. Was it the seventh floor? It was on the seventh floor or something. And, and to give her credit, she does catch it, but... He does realize he could just pass it to her via hand, right? But okay, let's just chuck that bitch from the high ground. Anyways, he wrapped the mask up and threw it from the seventh floor. I caught it like it was the holy grail of baseball. Although, I suck at baseball, but this was a good moment. I unwrapped it- Oh! Oh, oh fucking- Ah! 
This is Trace. How do you manage to somehow change the art style midway through tracing it? How? But I, I do appreciate that she looks more like a lizard over here, loving the family resemblance. He gave me some instructions. It was washable and the cloth was removable. As soon as I put it on, I felt more secure. So you could actually wash the mask, which means that her friend already filled step one of the requirements, which was to never have to take off the mask. So he literally missed the opportunity to off her. I looked like I was doing a Tokyo Ghoul or Kakashi Sensei cosplay. Yeah, I watch anime. <laughs> I watch anime. <laughs> Anyways, surprisingly, people in the streets didn't look at me like they did when I was wearing the medical masks. I guess it was kind of cool? The people in the street didn't look at you because you look cool. It's because you're in New York City. No one gives a shit in New York City. I've never been there personally, but based on the books and the movies and everyone I know who's been there, New York City is basically the CEO of yellow taxis and people are not giving any fucks. There was also a special feature that my friend had put in. There was room for a straw, so you didn't have to take the mask off to eat or drink. Oh, that's smart. So a friend didn't actually want to kill her, he just wanted to subject her to a life of liquids. And you might be wondering, what about food? It's not like she can just survive off water and soup forever, right? Well, don't you worry, because Mary has an idea. I started putting all my food into a blender and turning it into smoothies and shakes. And when I say all my food, I mean, like, really, all my food. I basically was just cooking meals like normal and then popping everything into a blender and then sucking it up through a straw. Ugh. Ew. Well, uh, why would you do my girl Facebook like that? I'd like to make a disclaimer that the real Facebook would never promote blending steak and, and chicken with the bone still inside it. And then she goes on to talk about all these weird food combinations actually was kind of efficient and I found some really interesting recipes and combinations like some were good and some were you know kind of disgusting don't knock it till you try it but french fries and pineapple actually made a really tasty combo you should try it no I don't I don't think I will this is just insulting at this point not only did they trace my facebook girl really badly like extremely badly she looks like a kindergarten macaroni art project but they also gave her a titty slit, a capital M hairline, and now they make her drink blended pineapple and french fries. I should sue them for defamation, I, I really should. So after this, she talks about how as the cases got more serious, more people were starting to wear masks, and it was now a month later. And in that time span, she only took off the mask three times in total to wash it. She does realize that um, she's more likely to get sick with all the bacteria formulating in there for weeks. But I digress. What would I know? I'm just someone who wears masks like a normal person and eats solid food. So a while later, mm, who could have guessed? She started getting some weird skin reaction. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not taking your mask off for a whole month except three times, will get you a skin infection or something. After a month of wearing the mask, I started to get some skin reaction on my left cheek. I thought it could maybe be one of two things. Maybe the cloth wasn't supposed to be worn like that, or maybe I had an allergy. <sighs> you heard it here, fellas. Maybe, maybe, just, you know, just maybe. The cloth shouldn't have been worn like that. She thought it was just acne, so she decided to take the mask off and let it breathe for a bit, thank god. And then she just puts it on again. Huh? She's in her house, mind you, and I don't know man, it just sounds way less hygienic considering she's worried about her health a lot. Stop overheating, I'm not that hot. Anyways, after that she still keeps putting on the mask and she wouldn't go to the doctor, which is pretty understandable considering you know, at that point, the virus rates were really skyrocketing everywhere. Eventually, though, stuff gets pretty weird. I tried some other home recipes to calm the irritation down, but none of them were working. I was starting to get desperate. And then, one night I woke up with a terrible burning sensation on my face, and something even worse. 
I could feel things moving inside of my face. <coughs> so at this point, I'm sure most of you can already tell what it is. But yeah, she went to a hospital, finally. Thank you. And um, fainted. The animation was pretty funny, not gonna lie. She just went, prop. So, Mary, no, not Mary. What the fuck was her name again? <laughs> So she woke up to a group of stock image doctors examining her face. And I just want to highlight this part over here. Uh, l listen really closely. They explained to me what was happening with my face. And let me just tell you, it has nothing to do with acne or allergies. Then why the heck is the title called I was allergic to the mask? Ah, I'm allergic to your stupidity. So what happened to her? Basically, during one of the only times she took off the mask, uh, a fly landed on her face and started laying eggs inside one of her acne scalps that she picked off. So the egg hatched and the larva was just swimming around inside the skin, just chilling there. This meant that the doctors had to suffocate the larva by putting duct tape over it and then yanking it out. And I actually feel kind of bad for the larva. Imagine you were just born, you're chilling, your home is pretty warm and comfy and dark because this stupid human wouldn't take off a mask. And you're just, you know, minding your own business, vibing in there, living rent free in someone's skin. And before you know it, you get suffocated to death and yanked out. Also, I just wanted to make a disclaimer. Obviously, hypochondria is a serious thing to go through. And I don't want to make it look like I'm making fun of the condition right now, but this is obviously fake. All of the stories are fake. Okay, this story isn't that unbelievable. It is. It really is. But compared to the others, it's... She talks about how she got better and, you know, she's eating solid foods again, which is really great. She went to therapy, she got help for her hypochondria, and she's doing better now. Which would be nice if it, uh, she wasn't real. And then she ends the video by saying this. I eat solid food again, which is great, and sometimes I even go into my office to do my work, but I still do most of my work from home. Anyways, I hope this crazy story has helped people that are afraid of this pandemic. How? If anything, I'm more terrified now, because not only do I have a pepperoni for a face, now I gotta worry about flies laying their eggs in there. So yeah, that's the video. Um, it's traced from my drawing, it has a million views. So approximately 90-95% of the people who watched this before I found out about it, they didn't know that it was traced and they have this image of my character in their minds forever. I have to give props, I guess. They chose the perfect Karen character to embody her. Facebook. My main problem with the content of this and the title is that it pushes the narrative that masks are bad and dangerous when no, please wear masks, you're killing everybody. I think she's not even allergic to the mask, but some Carolyn is gonna see this, take a screenshot of the thumbnail and use this as some kind of proof or a source, to, an excuse to not wear masks. And how exactly is this worse than COVID? Come on, real life talks. You can do better than that. Uh, no, no. I guess you can't. Anyways, people ask me what I'm gonna do about this, and honestly, I don't know. YouTube's copyright system is pretty janked up, and uh, they trace my art, obviously, but it's not completely traced. It's more of just the face and hair area. They just made it uglier. Maybe wait. I just had an epiphany. Maybe they traced it really badly on purpose so I wouldn't be able to file a copyright strike or something? I, I don't know, honestly. I, I, I don't know. This channel really confuses me because the narrator is speaking perfect English, the script is written in perfect English, but the rest of the video's titles are kind of broken. You have titles like I am pregnant from my cousin. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Lord. Spicy food caused me a hole in the stomach. Where are you? I do not have them. Uh, I got lost and grew up like a savage. 
Okay. I have people like spamming the comments and informing everyone else that it's Trey, so... Eh, I guess I'm not worried about other people coming in and not knowing anymore. Thank you guys so much for the help, by the way. It just sucks that they're getting money from this, but eh... They also traced another one of my drawings, also a social media app one, uh, for their other video. I was pregnant for 18 months. Charming. If you guys just want a video about that, let me know because I'll be happy to film it. So yeah, bye!